Welcome to another video here from EVA 2022. We are here at the GPO, German Precision Optics stand. And Andras, what do we have here? What, what's new? What we have here is what appears to be a new trend in the field of laser range finding binoculars. So we have mm. a laser range finding binoculars of the compact version. These are yeah. 32 millimeter uh, lens binoculars. So this is really something new that we haven't seen before. It's really interesting because when I talk to people in optics, I won't list names, I will not uh, speak about names, but from really premium best brands in, the, in this industry a couple of years ago when they came out with their laser range finding binoculars new series, they always said it's impossible to make a compact 32 millimeter binoculars with an integrated laser range finding that would be okay. Now, at least for an affordable price. Now, in last year, I think Leica came out with a with the Geoid. This year, yeah. Oh, this year, yeah. With the compact Geoid, but okay, that's a 3,000 euros binoculars. What about the GPO? These are below 1,000 euros, so they're yeah. practically without competition in this price class. Yeah. And the difference in the price between the 8 and 10 times magnification model is minimal. Yeah, so they're it's both 970 and 990, yeah. Yeah, so really 20 minimal. euros. It's really, really not enough. What I really like is how well they've hit the, the laser mm -hmm. compartment. There are no bulbs on the housing, so it's practically only these two buttons that give give away that this is actually yeah. a laser range finding binocular. There's a trend that size started a couple yeah. of years ago, and obviously others are following. For me, it's really special, the price point. Uh, I check them optically normally. Uh, they are better binoculars optically out there, but for much more, for much higher price. But for 1,000 euros, you get a very decent optics and you get a razor rangefinder that works equally fast and equally uh, reliable than in a bigger model, in a 10 by 50 model. Yeah? Uh, yeah. So it still measures four times in one second and in a much more compacter form. Um, and we also have to point out that the eyepieces are really nice. Mm -hmm. So overall, it's a really decent binocular. Who do you think will be the main users? For someone who goes, I don't know, who doesn't really put much emphasis on, on hunting in low light situations. So it's yeah. for someone who hunts during the day, mm -hmm. like a mountain hunting, chamois mm -hmm. hunting, uh, yeah. mostly for those. People. I also think yeah, uh, alpine those. hunters who go up in the mountains and they need a distance measurement before because they take the shot. Alpine hunting usually takes uh, place during, during the daytime. Yeah, yeah. So. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in our next video. Goodbye.